we're going to determine the value for the Faraday by electrolyzing a solution of copper sulfate. We have a copper mesh electrode which is going to be our cathode. We're going to plate copper metal onto the wire mesh. We're going to have a copper strip as our anode. We're going to oxidize copper the anode and the copper ions are going to go into solution. We're going to place our copper mesh into a 400 milliliter beaker. Across that we're going to put a stirring rod and we're going to support the anode from that glass stirring rod. That copper anode is going to sit in the middle of our copper mesh. We're going to fill the beaker about three quarters of the way with one molar copper sulfate solution. We're going to attach our positive lead, the red lead, to our anode. Okay. We're going to attach our black lead to wires that come off of the copper mesh. We're going to be careful to make sure that the two electrodes do not touch each other. Our power supply is a constant current power supply. We'll adjust the voltage and it will provide a constant current over the period of time that we're doing the electrolysis. The power supply will provide a constant current and we'll read that current from the meter we're going to need to time how long we have run the current through the cell. We'll use a stopwatch to tell us that. When we start the current, we'll start the time. After a period of time, we'll stop the experiment and our stopwatch. We'll have read the current from our power supply and the time from our stopwatch. We'll disconnect our leads. We'll remove the anode and the stirring rod. We'll take the cathode and carefully rinse it with water to remove the copper sulfate solution. We'll then rinse the mesh with a little bit of acetone which will help to evaporate the water. We'll allow the mesh to dry in the air until it's thoroughly dry. We'll then remass the copper mesh. From the increase in the mass of the copper mesh, we'll be able to determine the amount of copper that's been plated on the electrode. We'll know the mass of the copper produced, we know the current, and we know the time. You'll be able to solve for the value for the Faraday.